and welcome back to Guys Like Us. Today we have a special do-it-yourself episode where we will repurpose a shopping cart. Repurposing is a big part of what we do here at Guys Like Us. We hate to throw things away, especially if they can be used for something else. To that end, a friend of ours picked this shopping cart up off the side of the highway a few weeks ago and challenged us to make something out of it. In our neck of the woods, homeless people use these shopping carts as their little red wagon, so to speak, carrying their worldly possessions in them. Often, these carts are discarded on our roadways or in rivers and creeks that run beside the major roads. So we tell folks to grab them and use them for any projects that they can come up with. To that end, there's less pollution and trash in the world. Folks usually ask us, but what can we do with them as if they have no imagination at all? So we thought we'd make a video showing how easy it is to repurpose a shopping cart using as much of it as possible. Now there are many uses for the material found in a shopping cart, but we wanted to build something that most people will find useful and what can be more useful than a yard work trailer? As you can see here, my old yard work trailer was built from a bunch of stuff that I had previously repurposed, but it was a bit rickety and not very appealing to the eye. So we decided that the top of the cart would make a fine trailer bed, and the bottom we'll use in another way in our next do-it-yourself video or two. So we stripped the old trailer and we ditch all the wood to be burned in the outdoor fireplace later, leaving us with the trailer parts, some very strong bed material, and two flat fiberglass strips. So, we started by cutting the top of the cart from the bottom using an angle grinder. Angle grinders are one of the most useful tools a guy like us can have. So if you don't have one, you might consider purchasing one. You can get a decent one for about $40 at just about any hardware store. We're only cutting the welds here on this cart to retain as much of the strength and integrity of the frame as we can. With the top removed from the bottom, the rest of the build is pretty much a snap. First we cut a length of square aluminum rod and extend the trailer connecting arm, using some bolts and a metal coupler that we had laying around. We have a lot of stuff laying around just waiting to be repurposed here. Adding a large bolt to act as a tow hitch, the trailer is complete. We attach it to the mower and start fabricating the bed. Next, we cut another length of the same rod and we drilled some holes to mount it to the curved bottom of the runners on the cart. We mount that with some long bolts and a couple of nuts. With this rod now acting as a base for the mounting to the trailer, we attach it. Using the two strips of fiberglass cut to length to sturdy the backside, the trailer is now complete. This one looks a hundred times better than the old trailer and will be much easier to use. The base is much higher, so no more bending over. We have the child seat that we can extend to hold tools and things separate from the bed where we may put grass clippings or leaves or bush trimmings. All in all, we really like the new trailer and with that, we have repurposed the top half of the shopping cart less trash in the world, and a new cart to haul things around the yard with. All of this was done for absolutely nothing. A free trailer, just reusing things that we had laying around. What types of things have you built from stuff that was just laying around? Get in the comment section and let us know. We'd love to hear about your projects. That's all for now, and we'll see you guys next time on Guys Like Us.